Now, I get asked to tie a lot of competition flies. And one of the sort of competition flies normally tied would be the flies like uh, boobies, mini lures, blobs, such things like that. Now, what I'm going to do is tie a mini lure. There's many colour combinations out there. And this is, in this, uh, I'm going to be using a material called pseudo hackle. Now, the pseudo hackle I'm using, uh, the most popular one I use anyway, is the chartreuse. And as you can see, it comes from a company called Hairline Dubbing. Now there's, this is how it comes out, you get a lot of it, and what you do is just run the, the scissors up the centre and that basically gives you the hackle, like that. And obviously you can cut the length to suit yourself and suit the size of the fly that you're tying. Now, a couple of other materials I'm going to be using, uh, this, the micro fronds and candy, there's the candy cart version I'm going to be tying. So this is on the, uh, the underbody basically, or you could have a a mirage body which would be used normally in the candy cat. Uh, as I say, there's many variations. This will just give you one idea. Now, thread I'm going to be using just to highlight the head more than anything is the Fire Orange Thread Unithread AO. The hook, this is uh, the hook I'm using from Fooling Mill is a competition heavyweight and this is uh, basically the black nickel uh, size 10. Now we simply start the thread at the Hi there, hook can work our way down the shank. Now, I'm going to take it to the point just before the barb. Then let me tie in a candy pink marabou for the tail. Tear it off. Now I roll the fibres at the bottom of the fibres anyway. And then I pick the best part of the marabou. I pinch away what I don't want, which is there. Just make sure they're lined up. Now when you're tying these flies, they have to be tied within a certain size. Normally I go by the shank length for the tail, it gives me my measure. Tie this on, nice and tight. Trim the length of the body, which is there. And then, you tie in the pseudo hackle. Easiest way to do that is to trim away some of the fibre, the length of the body, just along the, the base of the side of the hackle, which is like a core, if you want to call it, it holds it all together. So if we tie that, just tie it on with a couple of turns, or just to hold. And then we go to our candy micro fronds. Now this is a, it's got a pedal through it. Okay, and we tie this the full length of the, the body so it's balanced, but I've removed some of the fibre and then just take your timing coming up put a wee bit of wax on my thread here just making sure this has a nice underbody and everything's tied in really tight just work your way up now give yourself at least a couple of mil at the head for the tying in or tying in your wing and materials off and we bring the candy up first the micro fronds, wind it up. You will get some of the fire on showing through with it, don't worry about that. It's add to the colour of the fly. Just take your time. Nice and tight. Cross your thread. Two or three turns in and then trim away the waist. I'm going to wax on my thread here. So I tidy this area up. There we go. Then we bring our pseudo hackle up through. Now it's best to lift, make sure these fibres are from the fronds are straight out so that you can basically rub the body with the pseudo hackle. Let's spread them out. Last turn up the top. Get a nice balance in the flight. Cross your thread. Make a space for the thread. Now, it does pay. I prefer to use like a. It's quite a. Don't want to waste my scissors cutting this heavy nylon. So I'm going to use a Stanley blade. And you'll get expensive scissors. 
the good sellers, we don't want to waste them and stuff like that. And then we can tidy the head area up. Leave the wax on the thread again. Get to the point where you can tie in the wing. And there we are, you get a nice blender colour. Uh, well, there's a good bit of movement in that. Now, I'm going to put a white marabou and bring some out. Yeah, and pick the best part, just I pull it to the point where I'm looking to see a nice taper in the fibre and break away what I don't need and then to get, to get a smallish head best thing to do is get the length that you want you know, you can't go by the tail so at this point you can tie it in there but what I like to do is draw back all this and pull, you can pull all this off, off this, on this fine fibres because you don't really need that, but your your wing should sit better. You should get a nicer head if you do that. It's amazing the amount of bulk you'll get off a of marabou. You can see the difference here. Trim this away. Again, I'll just put a wee bit of wax on my thread. Bring it to the front, and then take the thread turns into the cut ends of the marabou. Tidy the head up. Now there's. That should get a reasonable, you could finish it that if you want. You can put booby head and booby eyes on it. Now we've got a wee strand, a pearl, this is just mirror flash. Down either side. Turn the two there, just get it to sit where you want. Come down, fold it back on the other side, come back up with the thread. Look at the length of the wing. You can trim it. Now, jungle cock, I've got a split jungle cock eye here. Now, it just has to be evenly split. You don't need two eyes. And we can tie this on either side. Just fold them down either side of the wing. Go in two or three turns to secure, just to get it to hold it. And have a look at both sides, and the length's okay if you're happy. Which I am. Okay. Carry on down, fold it back, and then come over with the fire on thread, forming the head. And we can just break that off, but keep the thread tight. You must keep the thread tight if you do that. And then we come in and work finish. Now, as I say, you can put uh, booby eyes on this. I'd leave the jungle cock off if you're going to put booby eyes on it, you don't really see it. Uh, but if you're going to tie it just as a mini lure like this, then obviously you get the advantage of the jungle cock. See how it looks. Now, what I'm going to do for speed, the easiest thing to do is to super glue. Now, this is for speed and strength, the super glue sets really quick and obviously it's strong so what you way around nice head allow that to dry and then you finish off with a coat of varnish and you have a, a nice bright bright head strong just make sure the the eye is clean there's my dubbing needle and there we are and that's a mini lure tied with the there's two or three methods in there you'll you'll like. This will catch many will catch the rainbows. Competition anglers I say will like it. Uh, you could put booby eyes, it could be most popular eyes would probably would be the yellow. Uh, or the in this case, in this colour anyway would suit would be the, the pink. So anyway, I hope we enjoyed that.